Hello, good morning, everyone. Hope you are doing well. Okay, today we are going to learn how to run Probit or Logit in R, how to run them. Okay, we have to <clears throat> say that we use Probit and Logit in the case where our dependent variable is binary. Okay, in the studies like uh, participation and non participation study where well, we have yes or no as dependent variable and the study of I accept or I refuse where we have also yes or no as dependent variable. Okay, the dependent variable is taking two values. is one, yes, zero, no. Okay, things like that. This is, in this case, we are using what we are calling probit or logit, which are binary, dependent uh, binary models. Okay, then we are going to know how it's run and uh, which kind of program we are using to run them. Okay, first of all, we need to have data inside before to do all those kind of things. Okay, here we are using the package Wildridge, and uh, from Wildridge we can extract this data we are calling. Okay, okay, we, okay. First of all, if we are not yet you have not yet installed Windridge, the installation, you can just do that, install packages, and now put inside now Windridge. Okay, Windridge. Okay, and run, because I have already it, uh, then me, I will not run, okay. And the second step is to just load this package, which is a library of uh, uh, Woolbridge again. Okay. And I have already it all easy here. You can see around. I will not run. You have just to run if you don't have it yet. Then now we can call now data. Inside this package, we have data called which 2 Yes, it's the one we will be using. Okay, it's already here again. You can just call it okay. Then the next step is just to see the structure of our data and they decide which one, which uh, one of the independent variable will be, um, uh, which one of the, the variable will be our dependent variable in this case. And so then I want to see only two rows of data using head. I can have something like that, okay. Wage two, I should put wage two. The, and the, got it. Wage two. I have the structure of data, and as you can see, we have like wage, hours, education, experience, which are quantitative discrete variables, and we have married, uh, black, which are here binary. If we pull them, we can just see that married is uh, composed of one zero one zero one zero, black also the same zero one zero. Then we can take married. Here has different variable, or we can take also black, whatever, because married and black here are those variables which are only two categories, one or zero, which we can make them our dependent variable here. Then let us proceed to run our our probit we are talking just about. Okay, we have something like that probit, and come come in here. We can just call it probit, and now. Can just call it a bit now put it there and now we are using the common GLM and in, inside now <clears throat> you can now uh, take our black yeah? black as dependent variables now and now use this one we can take now education as independent variable and now experience also as independent variable and now we can add other things like yeah? Let's say how else? Okay, I can also add age. Yes, now and now tell the family we are using. The family is a binomial. Yeah, it's what just I was saying. The different variable or the model is binary itself. And now the fam family is binomial. And uh, yes, the family is binomial. And we have to precise inside, precise inside which kind of binomial we are using to probe it because we have also logic, then we are putting probe it. And just after it, we have now to 
then the data we are using yeah the data we are using is set wage two okay then after this one we can run our model and now and in it you can use now summary to see the result how it is it look like okay let's say uh, taking this one for a bit and let's put it there and now call it okay we have our result which is here that's okay it's good now what is important or what is interesting with r is r is just telling us or showing us what is uh, uh, those independent variables which are significant statistical significance putting uh, stars behind them okay here for example we have education which is statistical significant at one percent and we have here hours also which is statistical significant at uh five percent okay and uh, <clears throat> we have already uh, made those videos talking about such courses how to recognize them. In case we are using other software like Stata is not showing Star. Okay. In case we are using uh, other software, uh, uh, how to recognize what is such course significant? It's the values of p values. We have already talked about them. Check on our previous videos. Okay, here let us try to uh, explain what is happening. First of all, we can show, we can see, for example, the, the sign of the independent variable, independent variables, which is negative. Yeah, it's just giving us the, the, the idea that when one, the independent variable is increasing, uh, we will be having the, the like, 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 likely um, reduction, reduction of the dependent variable. Here, if we want to, we, we, are, we are interpreting this one, we can say, we can say the increasing of one degree because some, we should normally use um, a percentage, but in reality, there are some cases we cannot use um, a percentage. Can, can, can you understand me telling when one percent of education is increasing? It's better to say one, when one degree, uh, the education is increasing by one degree. So it's, 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 it's better like that. Okay, here trying to interpret, we will say uh, the increasing of the education by one degree um, is likely to reduce the wage of black people. Can you see there are some a technical uh, expression we should use, uh, like likely, because now the method of calculus here we are is, is used is likelihood. It's not in the case of uh, of a linear regression model where the method of calculus is OLS. Then here we should use this term likely. Then saying that the uh, increasing of the education by one degree is likely to reduce the wage of the black people um, by yeah. Can you can we see here for 0 0.15? Okay, since we have not started by by percentage, you cannot use it here percentage. It's the, the both side. What you started, you should end up with it. Okay, if for example, by the beginning, I was talking about percentage, the, the increasing of education by 1%, here I can use percentage. Since I use one degree, I can use just only 0 0.15 here, increasing by 0 0.15, the wage yeah, of black people around, that is, and now trying also to interpret this one also, how else can you see? Okay, uh, in studies, we are focusing more on those which are significant, that is. And now how else here, we can say that the increasing by 1% of uh, the number of how else, yeah, is likely to reduce, um, is likely to reduce 2% uh, of the wage of black people. Yeah, that is. Mm, and uh, that is the, the kind of interpretation you can just make around here. Then don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to allow you to have notification of, of further videos we'll be making and to allow you to learn a lot of things yeah, from our, our YouTube channel because we have many things there uh, uh, starting from scratch when you want to learn R after the, the, the uh, complex levels and so hope that this video will help you enjoy your day